Now, before John Odigi Oyigun Public Service Academy was set up, we had a lacuna, a big lacuna in intellectual property resource development. For civil and public servants, trainings were simply a source of getting some more money into your pocket. So if you needed money, you just applied to get trained. And so the trainings oftentimes that were done for civil and public servants did not impact positively as expected the photos of the civil and public service. And so that was a major problem. And so trainings needed to be done in such a systematic way as to impact positively on the portions of the system. Because a well-trained public service, like the governor would say often, is a service that can deliver on its assigned role. And so JUPSA has come to deal with that lacuna. Hello everyone, welcome to the John Odege Oyegun Public Service Academy, otherwise called JUPSA. At JUPSA, our mandate is to upskill and retool the civil and public service. We want to strengthen public service institutions through capacity building. So human capacity is a core that drives everything we do in Edo State. Better the quality of people you have running your administration or the civil service, the better the outputs, the service delivery for your people. Today, JUPSA is at the core of His Excellency's transformation agenda, retooling the engine of government for effective service delivery. So it is very important that uh, for the service to be meaningful and truly responsive and make, and make sensible, informed judgments, you have to have knowledge. The civil service, the public service, is that instrumentality of government through which government delivers to the people quality government. And as such, if you want government to run effectively, then you must ensure that the civil and public service are effectively run. There's a government likened the civil service, as far as its relationship with government, to a relationship between a car and its engine. A government is like a vehicle that's headed in a certain direction. And that vehicle is being driven by public and civil servants. If the engine of a vehicle is faulty, then the vehicle is not likely to get to its destination when it ought to. But when you think about the civil and public servants as the engine of government, and you think about the fact that we do want government to work, there is no way around training and retraining our civil and public servants. So, the John Odike Oyegu Public Service Academy has been set up to facilitate the training of public and civil servant using modern tools like technology to improve the services that government is meant to render to citizens. Take a look at one of our classrooms. In this classroom, we can sit at least 25 people. You can do PowerPoint presentations, you could go on the internet, and you could do so many different things in a Jupsa classroom, you will find in this classroom an interactive television where learners sitting on executive chairs like this can learn, take notes, and then of course we are Wi-Fi enabled. Jupsa's strategic priorities in the coming years is to ensure that the Edo State Public Service becomes a reference point across Africa. Since inception, JUPSA has trained over 5,000 public servants and the feedback has been widely positive. In comparing um, the learning and development uh, process pre-JUPSA and post-JUPSA, we can see that there has been a lot of effort put in place in identifying a lot of the skills gaps that exist within the civil service. So in areas of proper etiquette, writing, conflict management, these are all the things that um, 
JUPSA has pioneered in educating a lot of civil servants about. You know, but when I came in here for the very first time, I was amazed at the facilities, I was amazed at the structure, and I want to say that the structures and the facilities you have on ground here, you know, in this academy can compare favorably with any of the other academies, you know, across Nigeria and even beyond. I think for me, there's so much uh, great uh, changes where I try to carry out my uh, daily routine, my workplace. Like I've said in Abinishu, uh, I can now feel or perceive issues differently. You know, by the time I went through that training and came out, I saw critical thinking from a different perspective. I saw teamwork as one of the tools which I need to deliver on my day-to-day -day assignments. And sincerely, it's been wonderful. In operationalizing JUPSA, it was important to first answer the sustainability question institutional linkages with the Office of the Head of Service and the Office of the Civil Service Commission was first established. Following this was the establishment of the Interministerial Counterpart Team, otherwise known as IMCT. And then of course, Mr. Governor was very clear that if you want a civil and public servant to do well, then you must train him. Because without training, he's not able to do well. And so Mr. Governor committed to ensuring that the intellectual property resource development of the civil service is something that was paramount in the mind of government. Sustainability is going to be everybody's responsibility. It is going to be the responsibility of the political class who are administering the public service. It's going to be the responsibility of the public servants who are receiving the benefits, the direct benefits from this institution, and also the responsibility of the citizens who are the direct beneficiaries of the services which the public servants who have been trained in this institution will deliver. And this goal cuts across every facet of governance in the state. We must improve service delivery. And to improve service delivery, we must improve the persons who produce the programs and who actually deliver the services. And if that is what uh, JUPSA and other similar institutions can deliver, that is wonderful. I want to see in the coming years a JUPSA that leads thought leadership, public service thought leadership, I want this to be a melting pot of ideas where public servants come into our innovation labs and then they create some of the most exciting software that drives the future. But beyond that, I want JUPSA to be a think tank, a policy think tank, where if you, for example, like me, are, you're coming from the private sector and you're coming to do anything in government, you should have done something with JUPSA. So what we're doing with JUPSA is creating an institution to train the drivers of this vehicle, to train public servants who are the ones to manip manipulate, maintain this vehicle that is carrying us to our development destination. We will do everything within our power to ensure that JUPSA succeeds because the success of JUPSA is the success of the civil and public service. of JUPSA has been felt across all cadres. With an unwavering commitment to excellence, JUPSA has quickly become one of the most innovative government institutions in Nigeria. Well, I am very hopeful. I was saying it's not brick and mortar in terms of 
not something visible. You are improving the human being who is the key factor in service delivery. So it's not a road and you go and commission it, you cut the tape, say the road is ready or whatever, and everybody claps and say, hey, he has built a road. So this is more difficult to appreciate. It is long term in its permanent effect, not temporary effect. In its permanent effect, it is long term. When people start doing things because that is the right way to do it. I don't think history will forget those who started the process when the story gets uh, to be told.